Hi guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 50 of 100 days 100 concepts. So today we are at day 50, so halfway of what we have planned. So thank you so much for the support that you guys are showering on us. So one thing is that we actually are not uploading the videos daily, but we will definitely finish all the 100 concepts before okay whatever day which we can do i mean before the gate exam itself that's what i wanted to tell you right uh, so you can expect a video every alternative day from now okay that's what is a quick update yeah so let's quickly jump into the video so today's video i want to explain you about the concept of dislocation or uh, you can also tell this as slip in a perfect lattice okay how slip is actually taking place in a perfect lattice so what is slip we all know it's a deformation okay so sliding of one plane of atoms on another right so we saw many videos on that so let's take two different planes okay so i'll directly draw the shear in position okay let's say the atoms have been sheared okay so what i mean by shear is these atoms initially are here and they are sheared to some extent like this right so this is my shearing of atom now this is the slip that is actually occurring by translation of one atom one plane of atom over another plane okay now for this to happen definitely you require some amount of shear stress correct so definitely you require some shear stress so this shear stress can be found out that it has a sinusoidal relationship the shear stress that is actually a periodic function okay, which actually gives you a sinusoidal relationship as tau equal to tau m into sine of 2 pi x by b again i am not going deep into the derivations but we'll see what this equation actually tells you so uh, b is my interatomic separation or spacing and a is the interplanar spacing so now if you see here what is this this is my shear deformation correct so the shear strain okay can be calculated by taking this theta correct so a as i said is my interplanar distance or spacing B will be the interatomic spacing and what is X? X we have here is the displacement. Okay, so X is this displacement. That means whatever distance the atom has been displaced. Okay, now so this is the relation which we got and tau m so tau is the shear stress that we actually want to see and this is a sinusoidal curve this equation is actually representing a sinusoidal curve so tau m is nothing but the amplitude of the graphical you know sine curve that you get okay right so till now it's fine so what we know we calculated what is the shear stress that you require to displace a plane of atom by a distance of x now what is shear strain so as i said shear strain gamma can be taken as tan theta okay which is actually calculated from this particular right angle so tan theta is how much opposite by adjacent so here it is x by a okay again we can calculate shear stress equal to shear modulus into shear strain okay so this is something identical to hooke's law but on the other sense correct now so this will be equal to tau to g into x by a okay so let me derive over here this is g into x by a equal to tau m into so we are dealing with atomic spacings which are very low so we know when the theta value is very low we can take approximate value of sine theta equal to theta so i can write sine 2 pi x by b as simply 2 pi x by b so if you just calculate this you get tau m equal to g b by 2 pi a okay so what is this tau m over here this tau m is the theoretical shear stress or the shear strength of the body 
ओके थियरेटिकल शेयर स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द बॉडी सो यूजली ए इक्वल टू बी एंड वी कैन अप्रॉक्सीमेट टाउ एम एज जी बाई टू पाई करेक्ट सो दैट मीन्स दिस इज द अमाउंट ऑफ स्ट्रेस दैट इज एक्चुअली रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एस टू डिसप्लेस एन एटम दैट मीन्स टू शेयर ए प्लेन ऑफ एटम ऑन वन एन अदर नाउ वी नो जी इज वॉट शेयर मॉड्यूलस ओके दिस जी इज माई शेयर मॉड्यूलस ओके सो जी इज एक्चुअली इन द रेंज ऑफ अबाउट यू नो ट्वेंटी टू वन फिफ्टी जी पी ए ओके गिगा पास्कल विच इज इन द ऑर्डर ऑफ टेन पॉवर नाइन बट थियरेटिकल सिस्टम वेन वी मेजर ओके सो ऑफ कोर्स फ्रॉम दिस कैलकुलेशन टेकिंग जी बाई टू पाई दिस शुड बी इन द रेंज ऑफ हाउ मच लाइक ट्वेंटी बाई सेवन सो अप्रॉक्सीमेटली आई कैन राइट थ्री टू थर्टी जी पी ए okay let's assume this should be the amount of stress that actually one has to apply on a material in order to provide the shear displacement but experimentally it is not at all this much stress so the actual stress if you go and study do the experiment the actual uh, shear stress values for a plastic flow are less than 10 mpa so you see the difference so here the lower range is how how much 3 gpa that is 300 no that is 3000 mpa correct giga is 10 power 9 mega is 10 power 6 so the lower range which is giving you from the theoretical calculation is 3000 mpa but here if you see the actual shear stress value which are needed for plastic flow plastic deformation that means for slip to take place is less than 10 mpa so here comes the discrepancy so there is a discrepancy of the shear stress values that means experimentally you are getting so less values whereas theoretically when you calculate you are getting like way too high you can see less than 10 and 3000 mpa so this particular reduction of shear stress has been actually applied i mean actually observed experimentally so what people has been uh, observed scientists has been explained that there is something in the material which is actually favoring the plastic flow of the material which they called as dislocations so fun fact is before even looking at the atoms so you know tm tm transmission electron microscopy is one technique where you can see the atoms that's when you can see the dislocations but without even looking at the atoms all this study has been done way before maybe at the end of 19th century correct so this particular discrepancy has been explained easily with a concept of dislocation that means there is some dislocation line defects present inside my material which are actually helping my material to undergo plastic deformation at a very very low values than the theoretical values okay and this was actually developed even before looking at the atoms correct so dislocations are some line defects okay these are line defects of course we know we have brief study about dislocations once after looking at it but line defects are something which are actually responsible for slip okay so we'll see in some other videos how slip is actually taking place by dislocation movement but you can know from this particular discrepancy of values dislocations have been actually uh, you know discovered you can say but without looking at it okay it's just a conceptual you know uh, explanation of dislocation okay so before even looking at dislocation they have confirmed that this particular dislocation is actually helping the plastic flow and that is the reason why the shear stress that is required is way too less than the theoretical shear strength of a material right so i hope you like this video if you like it please hit the like button we have reached 50 videos so in the last two months we have been working hard to pull out videos here tests out and videos in our course so it's been very much uh, you know hectic for us but even then we are 
striving hard to provide you crisp content in 100 days 100 concepts for free remember we are not charging anything for it right so yeah thanks for the support do visit our website everythingmetallurgy.com so we are actually planning to bring out a crash course so for the next 100 days don't uh, worry about it the full details will come out in some other video maybe tomorrow so yeah so the short term is also coming out soon thank you guys do check out our website and also stay active on our youtube comment sections if you have any queries please do contact us thank you guys thanks for watching share it also with all the gate metallurgy aspirants thank you meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept thank you guys